Welcome back. Today, we're diving into an essential topic that concerns public health, the typhoid vaccine. Typhoid fever is a potentially life-threatening disease, but fortunately, we have vaccines that can help prevent it. In this video, we'll explore what typhoid fever is, how the vaccine works, its effectiveness, and who should consider getting vaccinated. So, let's get started. What is typhoid? Typhoid is a bacterial infection caused by Salmonella typhi. It is typically transmitted through contaminated food and water or close contact with infected individuals. The disease can lead to severe symptoms, including high fever, headache, stomach pain, weakness, and in some cases, life-threatening complications. Preventive measures, such as the typhoid vaccine, are essential to combat the spread of this potentially deadly disease. What is typhoid vaccine? The typhoid vaccine is a biological preparation designed to provide immunity against typhoid fever, a bacterial infection caused by Salmonella typhi. The vaccine stimulates the body's immune system to produce antibodies that can recognize and fight the Salmonella typhi bacteria, thereby preventing or reducing the severity of the infection if a person is exposed to the bacteria in the future. There are two main types of typhoid vaccines available, the injectable and oral vaccines. The injectable vaccine is administered as a single dose, while the oral vaccine is given in multiple doses. Both types have proven to be effective in reducing the risk of typhoid fever. How Typhoid Vaccine is Manufactured The manufacturing process of the typhoid vaccine involves several steps, including antigen production, purification, formulation, and quality control. There are two main types of typhoid vaccines, the V polysaccharide vaccine and the Thai 21A live attenuated oral vaccine. Let's look at the manufacturing process for each type. Steps for V polysaccharide typhoid vaccine production. Antigen production. The V polysaccharide, which is the main component of the vaccine, is extracted from the Salmonella typhi bacteria. The bacteria are cultured in a controlled environment to produce the V polysaccharide antigen. Purification. The harvested bacteria undergo a purification process to isolate and concentrate the V polysaccharide antigen. This step ensures the vaccine's potency and removes any undesirable components. Formulation. The purified V polysaccharide antigen is combined with other necessary components, such as stabilizers, preservatives, and adjuvants to create the final vaccine formulation. Quality control. The manufactured vaccine undergoes rigorous testing to ensure safety, potency, and quality. This includes testing for purity, sterility, and immunogenicity. Steps for Thai 21A Live Attenuated Oral Typhoid Vaccine Production Master Seed Production The Thai 21A strain of Salmonella typhi is carefully selected and attenuated, weakened, in the laboratory to reduce its virulence while retaining its ability to stimulate an immune response. This attenuated strain becomes the master seed for vaccine production. Fermentation the master seed is used to inoculate large fermentation tanks containing a growth medium. The bacteria multiply and produce large quantities of the attenuated Thai 21A strain. Harvesting. Once the bacteria have reached the desired growth phase, they are harvested and purified to obtain the Thai 21A strain in a concentrated form. Encapsulation. The concentrated Thai 21A bacteria are then encapsulated in a protective coating, usually made of gelatin or other materials, to form the final vaccine capsules. Quality control. The encapsulated Thai 21A vaccine undergoes extensive testing to ensure it is safe, effective, and free from contaminants or harmful microorganisms. Both types of typhoid vaccines undergo strict quality control measures throughout the manufacturing process to ensure that they meet the required standards for safety and efficacy. Once the vaccines are ready and regulatory approved, they are distributed to healthcare providers and vaccination programs to protect individuals from the risk of typhoid fever. How Typhoid Vaccine Work The typhoid vaccine works by stimulating the body's immune system to produce a protective response against the Salmonella typhi bacteria, which causes typhoid fever. The vaccine contains components of the bacteria, such as antigens, that mimic the presence of the actual pathogen without causing the disease. There are two main types of typhoid vaccines, and each works differently. V polysaccharide vaccine. The V polysaccharide vaccine contains purified V polysaccharide antigens, which are derived from the outer covering of the Salmonella typhi bacteria. When the vaccine is administered, the V polysaccharide antigens are recognized by the body's immune system as foreign substances, antigens. This recognition triggers the production of specific antibodies targeted against the V polysaccharide antigens. 
If a vaccinated individual is exposed to the actual Salmonella typhi bacteria later, the preformed antibodies quickly recognize and neutralize the bacteria, preventing infection and the development of typhoid fever symptoms. Thai 21A Live Attenuated Oral Vaccine The Thai 21A oral vaccine contains live but weakened, attenuated, Salmonella typhi bacteria of the Thai 21A strain. When the oral vaccine is ingested, the attenuated bacteria survive in the intestines and stimulate the immune system. The immune system recognizes these attenuated bacteria as foreign invaders and mounts a response to fight them off. During this process, the immune system also generates memory cells that remember the pathogen's characteristics. If a vaccinated individual is exposed to the actual Salmonella typhi bacteria later, the immune system's memory cells rapidly recognize the pathogen and mount a robust immune response to eliminate it before it can cause the disease. Who require typhoid vaccination? Typhoid vaccination is recommended for individuals who are at increased risk of exposure to the Salmonella typhi bacteria, which causes typhoid fever. The groups that may require typhoid vaccination include travelers, individuals traveling to areas with a high risk of typhoid transmission, especially in developing countries where the disease is endemic or outbreaks occur, should consider getting vaccinated. This includes tourists, backpackers, business travelers, and volunteers, healthcare workers, healthcare professionals, laboratory staff, and other individuals who may come into contact with patients or specimens potentially contaminated with Salmonella typhi should get vaccinated to protect themselves and prevent the spread of the disease. Close contacts. People in close contact with someone infected with typhoid fever, such as household members or caregivers, may be at an increased risk of contracting the disease. Vaccination can offer protection in such situations. Military personnel. Military personnel deployed to regions where typhoid is prevalent should be vaccinated to safeguard their health and maintain mission readiness. Outbreak response. During typhoid outbreaks, vaccination campaigns may be initiated to control the spread of the disease and protect vulnerable populations. Laboratory workers. Researchers and technicians working with the Salmonella typhi bacteria in laboratories should be vaccinated to reduce their risk of infection. It's essential to consult with a healthcare provider or a travel clinic to determine if typhoid vaccination is recommended based on individual circumstances, travel plans, and risk factors. What are the AEFI associated with typhoid vaccination? Adverse events following immunization, AEFI, associated with typhoid vaccination are generally mild and infrequent. Most people who receive the typhoid vaccine do not experience any significant side effects. However, as with any vaccine, there is a possibility of some adverse reactions. Here are some potential AEFI associated with typhoid vaccine. AEFI associated with V polysaccharide vaccine. It may include pain, redness, or swelling at the injection site, low-grade fever, headache, fatigue or malaise and gastrointestinal symptoms, such as nausea or diarrhea, though these are rare. AEFI associated with Thai 21A live attenuated oral vaccine. It include mild gastrointestinal symptoms, such as stomach cramps, nausea, or diarrhea. These symptoms typically resolve on their own and are not severe. Some people may experience a headache or mild fever after receiving the oral vaccine. It's important to note that serious adverse reactions to typhoid vaccination are rare. Severe allergic reactions, anaphylaxis, are exceptionally uncommon but can occur with any vaccine. If you or someone you know experiences signs of a severe allergic reaction, such as difficulty breathing, swelling of the face or throat, rapid heartbeat, or dizziness, seek immediate medical attention. Conclusion. Remember that prevention is better than cure. The typhoid vaccine is a powerful tool to protect yourself and others from this potentially dangerous disease. If you're planning to travel to at-risk areas or working in high-risk environments, consider getting vaccinated. Stay informed. Stay safe, and take care of your health. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy. Goodbye.